Hi everyone, this is Eugene Lichio, and today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about calibrating the camera in Photostruct, which is a module in Alice Lab Studio Clouds. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Photostruct is a, uh, a stereo photogrammetry or a stereo matching program that allows you to create dense point clouds of objects like buildings and environments, uh, large sculptures, things like that. But you can do anything big or small with it. So the first step before you do anything is calibrating your camera. So what calibrating your camera does is takes into consideration all the little inconsistencies of the lens distortions and manufacturing imperfections of most consumer grade digital cameras. And Studio Clouds uses that in order to make corrections for the photographs or make corrections to the photographs for the point cloud. So how do we calibrate a camera? Well, we basically calibrate a camera by taking photographs of some kind of a pattern or known grid, something like that. And so what I have here is just a printed out calibration pattern that comes with Photostruct. And you take photos of it from various angles. And uh, you're gonna wanna tape it down to a flat surface. And I'll give you a few more tips on what you need to do, but this is sort of an, a quick example. Now, if you can print it out as large as possible, that would be the best. But for this demo, I'm just showing it to you on a regular piece of paper. So when it comes to actually taking the photographs, what you're going to want to do is take photos from about 45 degree increments moving all the way around the pattern. And you also want to take it from directly down on top of the sheet. So for each time you go around and take your photos, the first time you do it, you're going to do it with the camera horizontal and just like you would regular photos. Then the next time you do it, you're going to do it with the camera rotated at 90 degrees. And then the next time you do it with the camera rotated at negative 90 degrees. And you also want to take a number of different photographs from the top and even some other random shots. And what this will do is help to give you good lens coverage. And I'll talk a little bit more about that with a few more tips. So here's a few tips in preparation for the photographs that you're going to be taking. Uh, as I mentioned before, print the calibration sheet out as large as possible. The bigger it is, the better. This will make it more representative of what you're going to be photographing, especially if you're doing like big buildings and stuff like that. Also, make sure the calibration sheet is flat and taped to a flat surface. You don't want it to be bent or crinkled or anything like that. Also, the camera can only be calibrated at one focal length, so make sure you don't change the zoom setting in between photos. If you have a fixed focal length lens, use it. It'll be the best thing. Also, use a tripod, and that's just to avoid any blurring. And if you can, focus the camera on a distant object so that you set the camera's focus to infinity. And, and this way, when you go back into the field and take photographs, you'll be taking much more representative photographs similar to what you did with the calibration pattern. Also, using a high f-stop number will help you minimize any blurring, so it just helps you to get really sharp images. One of the downsides of using a high f number is that you're going to have less lighting in your photo, so your photos might be dark. So when you take photos of the pattern, just try to use a flash or make sure you're in, in an area with good lighting, and that'll help. The pattern should take up about 50% of the image. Now, there's no hard rules here. It could be smaller, it could be bigger. But obviously, the two things you don't want to do is make the pattern so small that it doesn't get detected. And the flip side to that is that you don't want to make it so big in the image that parts of the pattern get cut off and then it just won't calibrate. Also, when you're rotating the camera by plus or 90 degrees, try to move the calibration pattern to one side or the other in the camera's view. So don't always keep it centered because if it's always centered or if it's sort of small in the, the center of the lens, that'll be the only part of the lens that gets calibrated. So as you move the calibration sheet around in the camera's view, you're getting better lens coverage and you'll probably get a better calibration. The actual process of calibration in Studio Clouds or Photostruct is actually quite simple. And what you need to know is, or what you need to do is just go to Photostruct and go to the Calibrate Camera module. That brings up a small window. And all you need to do is add a bunch of images. So I had a bunch of test images that I was using before. It brings them up, it has them checked. What you're going to want to do is detect the checker pattern in all the images. So I'm going to click this. And what you'll see on the left is that it's going through and processing each of the photographs to check for the, the pattern. Now, sometimes what will happen is, depending on how the photos are taken, some of these will drop off. And you'll notice that by the fact that they won't be checked as it goes through. If that happens, no big deal if you have enough photos. As far as the quantity of photos go, you're going to want to have about 50 photos or so. But you can work with 30 or something like that. Just take a whole bunch of photos and try to do it in a structured manner, moving around the pattern in about 45 degree increments. So here I have the, uh, you can see the pattern has been detected. 
And here in some other photographs as well, you see there's some lines that are connecting the pattern. So that means that I've got everything uh, here on the left. Looks, It's all been detected. Looks pretty good. And from there, all I need to do is hit Calculate Camera Parameters. And there you go. It has all the uh, camera parameters calculated. And what I need to do at that point is just save the project. So it goes to the calibration uh, directory in the Alice Labs uh, folders. And all you need to do is just save it with, you know, maybe the name of your camera, maybe the, the focal length setting of the camera, something like that. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to save this. At that point, all you need to do when you're going to Photostruct is go to Stereo Matching and you can add the camera from your directory and it will have a list of all your cameras here and once you do that select you can add your photos and then start doing the actual stereo matching and creating your point clouds but that'll be a topic for another day so hopefully this helped thank you